I'm with Steve Maxwell and two of the uh, panel members of the uh, SNAP project and we're in the Post Mill uh, Community Centre. Steve, tell me a bit about how this developed. Um, the Post Mill Community Centre is actually the responsibility of uh, another local community organisation um, that uh, arose out of South Normanton Community Services Association. Um, it's now formed as a community interest company um, and is a large uh, community centre that runs a whole raft of activities and events from, from wedding receptions to music events. Um, our connection with the community centre is involved in the creation of the town park, which is just outside uh, to the side there, which consists of a, a range of children's uh, play equipment and, and landscape gardens. Uh, and the facility is used by various members of the community to, to, to play and, and relax during the day. As you mentioned, uh, we, we have two panel members here with us as, as well. The, they're part of the Fair Shell panel, which oversees the way SNAP Development Project spends the money that it was awarded to it through Fair Share. Um, can I just get you both to introduce yourselves? I'm Russell Bradley. And I'm Jill Morley. Can I, I'll start with you, Joan. How long have you been a, a panel member and, and why did you get involved? About uh, 15 years ago, and um, it was the vicar of Pinkston Parish Church. He didn't know anything about the village, and I didn't. So we mapped it out to see what was needed. And then it took a few years, and uh, a grants officer coming in to help us was all volunteers then. And um, we sort of uh, developed it from then. And then South Normanton, they got their own committee. And so we joined both villages up and it became snap development. And, and Russ, why did you get involved? Yeah, I was the chairman of one of the local groups and was in an inaugural meeting and was on the SNAP project and then was invited to come on the Derby's Community Foundation panel. And I enjoyed doing the work helping the community. And, and Joan, back to you. What... Um, how do you think SNAP Development Project have done with the with the money that they've received? Well, I think we've done a grand job. I mean, we've uh, match funded it and stretched it like it has today. And we covered from birth, really, to um, old age pensioners, to dis disabled, and this building, there's a disabled entrance that we had put on. We worked very well with the parish council of this area. And... Um, we just basically help teenagers. We've got good work people working for us, the volunteers, and uh, they were unpaid. Some of them get uh, paid now because we've got an office, but we didn't at the beginning, that come later. And uh, what it's done is to bridge the gap. There was a big gap. There was Pinkston, the village. There was South Normanton. And nobody, well, there's broad meadows between. But the villagers didn't entwine, and it has brought the lot closer together. And Russ, do you think this has been a good thing for South Normanton and Pinkston? Absolutely. The team over the 10 years have raised over a million pounds, oh, well, gathered half a million pounds of funding for community projects. There was a great emphasis on youth work. My own group, very, very much in involved in youth training, and anything to get the children more actively involved and proactive is better. Uh, thank you both very much.